Hi kids and welcome to Virtual Sunday School. I hope you guys are doing well. I sure do miss your smiley faces and your funny giggles. Um, I wish we could meet face to face, but unfortunately with our current um, situation, we all have to stay home. And um, But at least I still get to bring you our um, Sunday School lessons um, virtually. So normally in our class, we would start with our community time. So I want to start there and I want you to think of a time when you have felt loved. And I want you to share that with someone in your family. Normally we would share it around the table, but I want you to share that with someone in your family. Maybe your sibling or your mom or your dad or even call up your grandparent and share that with them. Our story lesson today, um, we will hear um, how people showed love to Jesus and that hopefully will touch us and help us continue to show love to others. But before we get there, I want to go into our um, memory verse. So we haven't been in church for a couple Sundays. So our memory verse for this month is comes from John 8, 12, and this is Jesus speaking to others. And he says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So I want you to think about that verse this upcoming week. I am the light of the world. That's Jesus speaking. But whoever follows me, whoever follows Jesus, will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Our lesson today comes from John. So I brought our Bible uh, from John 12. And normally when we look it up, remember John is in the New Testament. And we're in um, chapter 12, the big number 12. And so the heading on that says, Mary pours perfume on Jesus. So that sounds kind of funny, but I did bring a bottle of perfume. And so I want you to think about perfume and sometimes perfume can be very expensive. Um, and so our lesson today is I want you to think about sharing something expensive to show someone that you love them. So you can look at the, um, the picture here and I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little better. And so that's Mary, and she's putting some perfume on Jesus' feet. And so it comes from John 12. Six days before the Passover, Jesus was invited to have dinner in Bethany at the home of his friends Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. The disciples were there too. Martha served the meal. Lazarus ate at the table with Jesus. She came to where Jesus was seated and poured the perfume over Jesus' feet. Then she wiped his feet with her hair. The house was filled with the sweet smell of that wonderful perfume. One of the disciples, Judas, wasn't very happy about this. He said, why didn't you sell this perfume? We could have gotten a lot of money for it. Then we could have used that money to help the poor, the poor people. Jesus said to Judas, leave Mary alone. She bought the perfume for the day of my burial. You will always have the poor with you, but you won't always have me. The next day, the great Passover crowd heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. They wanted to see Jesus and they also wanted to see Lazarus, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They took palm branches and went out to meet him. Waving their branches, they shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus rode on a young donkey, just as the Hebrew scripture said. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. Jesus' disciples didn't understand, but seeing the huge crowd, the religious leaders grumbled into one another. You see? We can't do anything to stop him. Look, the whole world is following him. So I wonder what it feels like when our hearts are filled with love. So when you think about that, you think about that time where you felt loved, 
Think about Mary and what she did to Jesus. The gift that she gave, it may have been a, an expensive perfume, but it was a precious gift to her. And she showed Jesus her love by sharing that precious gift. So I want you to think about your precious gifts and how you can share those with others. Maybe you're a beautiful singer and you can share your talent with other people. Maybe you're a great artist and you can draw a picture and send it to someone to brighten their day. So many different ways to show God's love. And you guys have so many unique ways to do that. So one of the things I would invite you to do with me is I'm creating a praise board. And so each week we're gonna add to our board. So I've used a bulletin board, but you can also use like construction paper or you can use like a poster board or anything like that. But I wrote the word praise on the top. And so you can see that, I'll show it to you. Praise on the top. And then I've taken sticky notes and on each note, I want you to write ways that you can show God you love him by doing things for other people. So the things I wrote were obey your parents, pray for others, maybe send a card to someone, or maybe make a phone call and just say, hi, I'm thinking about you. So any of those things. So I'd like you, I wanna challenge you to also make a praise board. I'll keep this up here so you can see it. Oh, losing my sticky notes. So also make a praise board. And so each week we're gonna keep adding stuff to our board and show um, how we can also praise God in many, many different ways. So I ask you now to close your eyes, bow your heads, and we'll finish with a prayer. God, thank you for loving us. Help us to love you by loving others. Use our hands, our talents, our precious gifts to love others the way you love us. Amen. Take care, everyone. Until next time.